opening round of the playoffs. Uh, Callaway defeated uh, Tattnall County by a score of 49-7. to And, uh, Coach Wiggins, congratulations on a big ball game. Thank you. I was real proud for the kids. Uh, we had a great week of practice. Uh, uh, kids kept their focus all week. And, uh, uh, you know, it was just a special week. Uh, they, I, I see in the kids, they, they feel the importance of, you know, staying focused and practicing hard. And uh, uh, our kids have matured uh, in a lot of ways throughout the year. And uh, uh, I think we're playing pretty good ball right now. And uh, we had a big night last night, executed well. Um, and 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 several phases of the game, but uh, again, I you know last night we obviously we were able to score several ways, but I, I felt like our defense was as physical last night as it's been all year, and uh, uh, several kids uh, had some of their best games of the year, and you know good crowd there last night, and um, a lot of former Cavaliers uh, there. It was good to see those guys, and uh, uh, just a big win for us leading into the, to uh, the Thanksgiving week, and. Uh, uh, you know, hopefully it'll carry us on on further down the road. Well, you make you make a couple of excellent points, Pete. I know you know we always tell kids you play like you practice, and if that's the case, your practices must be incredible. We may you, we can start selling tickets to your practice because those kids are really um, right now, Pete. I you know I feel like I don't know how you feel. It's you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself, but uh, really well on offense. I mean, they've performed all year at, at a high level. They've kept that uh, consistency all year and. Uh, but but you're right. Last we talked about it in the booth last night on defense. Um, Callaway was as physical as I've seen them all year, and, and it told on Tattnall in the in the second half. Uh, and uh, on on that defense, everyone played well. You talk about uh, Deion Smith, Deion Bray, um, uh, Cortez, but Cortez Leonard uh, last night. Uh, I thought he had the game of the game of his uh, career, his season. Pete. He did, and uh, you know he had a great week of practice and. Uh, uh, he he was really focused last night, and uh, we we put him in. Uh, Coach Hubbard put him in uh, situations, um, uh, coming on different stunts last night, and uh, uh, he 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 stepped up and he made a lot of plays. I mean, he plays well every week, but uh, you know, last night uh, uh, was was an exceptional game for him. Not only defensively, uh, you know, you always expect uh, expect number ten to. Uh, you know, to have big plays on defense and big hits and uh, good tackles and, you know, he's uh, uh, rushing the quarterback. But he had some big plays on special teams. But last night he had he ran the ball well. And, uh, uh, you know, we've tried, to, we've tried to rotate backs all year uh, just for, uh, you know, keeping folks healthy. And, uh, and, and we got, you know, we got a couple of guys that can run the ball. So, you know, last night was his turn. And uh, uh, he did well, took advantage of it. And, you uh, uh, they might make make it plays, but uh, I know Cortez just like all the other guys. Uh, you know they they had to say good job to those guys up front because right. I, I tell you what those guys up front, uh, Moose Deloach uh, has gotten better each week. Uh, uh, Brandon Sutton, Josh Emery, Devin Powell, Josh Williams, uh, uh, Keyshawn Freeman, Jalen Allen at tight end. I mean they're a special group, and uh, uh, I mean they, they again they get better. They're not very big, you know. Everybody <coughs> when, when you uh, talk talk uh, football and who you're going to play, you always say, well, gosh, they're big. You know, the team that you're looking at that you're going to play, well, we don't really have a lot of big guys. As they play as big, though, don't they? They do, and, 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 you know, size sometimes don't matter. It's, it's just how, how, how big their heart is and how hard they play. And uh, up front, Brandon Sutton's, <clears throat> he's 254 pounds, and he, he's, our, he's our biggest guy. And uh, uh, Moose Deloach is about 245. But, uh, you know, other than that, our, our, you know, they, they – uh, they're in the 200 pound range, but uh, they they play a lot bigger than that, and that's what I tell them. If you weigh 200 pounds, play like you're 250, and uh, <laughs> and I think they do that. But uh, anyway, uh, again, our our offensive line uh, did a great job last night. Well, we got a lot of exciting stuff to talk about this morning, Pete. We're gonna uh, go to a break right now and let our let our listeners get them another cup of coffee or warm up that first one, and we'll uh, when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about last night's game, some individual stars next week in the second round of the playoffs. So, uh, you guys, uh, we appreciate you listening to us here on the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show on Eagle Sports. Training right now for Turkey with a Test Drive, now featuring the stylish 2013 Kia Sportage, a solid build but unbelievably bargain price SUV starting only $18.9. The Sportage stands out in the crowd with its lower starting price and better highway MPGs than the Honda CRV, Ford Escape, and Toyota RAV4. Plus, the Sportage has almost twice the warranty of those brands carrying Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. KiaWithGrains.com helps support your local economy. Turkey, while supplies last. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. 
Emory Southern Orthopedics well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality, hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit us on the web at www.southernorthopedics.com. That's southernorthopedics.com. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Rob and Joel Upchurch is your REMAX result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call you should make is to Joel or Rob Upchurch. Call 706-845-7000. This week's feature is just seconds from Highland Marina. This four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home has hardwood flooring, a spacious master, and the property joins the core property, and it's only $189,900. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed with Rob or Joel Upchurch, call 706-845-7000 or just search Rob or Joel Upchurch. Church and check them out on the web. State of denial is a drag and a trial. One, two, I'm moving the meter. One, two, one, two. One, two, hello, one, two, one, two. Now I've had an accident and I'm feeling quite alone. Called them at least 20 times, but they won't pick up the phone. Without personal service, my policy is kind of worthless. Get to a better state, State Farm. Don't deny yourself a call to State Farm agent Matt Orr. On the square in downtown LaGrange. Clark's going to take the snap, hand the ball off to his tailback, Rosser. Rosser ramp, finds a hole, and he's still his feet across the 20, down the 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Cali Cavaliers. Great job that time again by the offensive line of the Cavaliers. That Devon Rosser, number three from his fullback position, they, they hit that quick trap that's been a bread and butter play for them all year. The play went about for about uh, 36 yards uh, for the Cavaliers' first touchdown of the night. No penalty, so... Uh, Cavaliers lead by a score of six to nothing with the extra point from Chase Freeman to, to follow. There you go. That was the first touchdown last night there at the Callaway game. And as we're live here at Kia of LaGrange on Lafayette Parkway in LaGrange, talking with Kurt Snyder, I tell you what, uh, it is uh, fun to do playoffs. It's even more fun to do playoffs here at Kia of LaGrange. Well, Coleman, you know what? I, I listened to a number of the games that y'all had last night, and as always, uh, I want to thank y'all for your commitment. Uh, to high school football, it's wonderful to be able to flip on uh, all of your stations and, and catch different games. It's it's an awful lot of fun. Uh, I, I appreciate very much what uh, Tony does, even though he didn't have a roster last night. <laughs> he he didn't know a lot of the kids about a about a about a half time. But you know what? It 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 really was a lot of fun. And and while we're going into the week of Thanksgiving, uh, I'm very thankful for these guys and for Coach Wiggins. Uh, when he first came along, he was. Uh, Actually, coaching my daughter was on the soccer team. He was coaching soccer, at, and uh, he'd been, you know, uh, on the on the football squad. But I remember when they when they promoted him to head coach. And I'll be honest with you, at that time, uh, the Callaway, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people were picking on us in town. You know what I'm saying? We we were uh, kind of like, you know, that, that that our athletic program was a joke. Coach has done a wonderful job. He set a wonderful example for our kids and. Uh, Again, we just appreciate the opportunity for y'all to be here each week. Let me get out of the way and let these guys talk about football. There you go. And I tell you what, it is pretty amazing when, uh, when you when you have that situation and those kids that uh, sit there and built uh, built the foundation. Then for what we're seeing now, it takes a lot of effort through all the groups. And that's some of the things we see here at Kiel Lagrange too. Uh, the group that has come in here and started the foundation and got us to where we are now. And uh, I tell you what, you've got a great group of people in here. Great finance, great uh, service. And if you're interested in the Kia, come see them here at Kia of LaGrange on Lafayette Parkway in LaGrange. Tony, back to you there at the deck. Thank you, Coleman. Thank you, Kurt. We appreciate all those uh, kind words. And, uh, Pete, I have to echo Kurt's sentiments. He, uh, he hit the nail on the head uh, uh, from where Callaway was in 1996 to where we are now. It's, uh, uh, it's quite a jump. And uh, uh, we're still reaching. We're still striving to get better each week. And uh, thanks to you and your staff, you've been a big part of that. But, uh, Pete, before the break, we talked a little bit about some of the individual stars we well, we try to mention those big hosses on the offensive line, <laughs> uh, those big 200-pound mammoths up there. So uh, we talked a little bit about them. And, of course, uh, every week they're, they're, they're stars. And when you score the type of points that you've been scoring, Pete, and, and you hold teams uh, to a touchdown, and that team that Tattle came in, they were averaging over 30 points a game uh, against some stiff competition. And our defense did a great job last night, special teams, 
kickoff coverage again uh, was outstanding. Uh, so, uh, you know, Pete, after you watched the film a little bit, who else stood out? Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about our defense a little bit, and uh, then I'm, we'll switch gears to offense. But, uh, you know, uh, last night coming into the game, we, we knew that uh, we had to focus was on their quarterback. Their quarterback, uh, um, you know, watching film, we had a lot of film on him, and uh, uh, he had moved the ball, uh, made a lot of plays, uh, extending the play. Uh, in the games that we had, meaning he could avoid pressure and still get the the, the ball in the hands of a, a receiver, and uh, or he could run for uh, a first down, at, you know, a, after he was getting pressure. And uh, again, just a just a great ball player, great leader. You could you could see see that on film that that we watched over the uh, uh, course of the season. And uh, uh, so going into the game, we our focus was on. The quarterback, and uh, you know their offensive line was uh, a big offensive line. They they were coached well, and uh, they had good receivers and backs. But uh, uh, you know, Coach Hubbard, a great game plan going into it, and uh, you know the kids, uh, the kids believe in what we do, and uh, they play fast. And uh, uh, you know, obviously we uh, early we had two turnovers uh, offensively, and one special teams turnover, and they ultimately scored on. The special team turnover, which they had a short field on, but uh, uh, you know uh, the other two turnovers, our backs were against the wall a little bit, and and, and we made stand defensively. And uh, one thing that uh, this year uh, that uh, we're, we're doing a great job of is, is takeaways on defense. And uh, I, I don't know what uh, how many interceptions we've had and how many forced fumbles, but uh, we've had a lot of them. And uh, you know it, it doesn't just happen. We 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 talk about it at practice each week each day um our, our you know our guys run to the ball and 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 we try to script the ball and uh make and break it on the ball our secondary does as far as interceptions go and because you know lo those kind of things change momentum and and uh, uh right now we're, we're getting several takeaways uh each week and and it, and it makes a difference in the ball game and pete you talk about running to the football a prime example last night of that last night was uh, number 51 Josh Emery getting a, an interception down the field. Mm -hmm. uh, again, he could have took the playoff, but when the ball was batted in the air, hustling to the football, he gets a big interception for us. Right, and uh, you know, each week, uh, I mean, we have drills where uh, uh, there, there's a ball in the air, and some we we pick it off, uh, and 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 the other the defensive lineman, the the backers lead the, the the person that's intercepted, whoever it is. We, you know, it becomes an offensive play, and. Uh, Again, it's it's just a lot of reps. Coach Hubbard does a great job with that, and uh, um, uh, getting get uh, getting kids to the ball, and uh, you know he's intense, and uh, the, the the kids uh, uh, they believe in him, just like you know we all uh, we all do, and uh, we've been doing a great job for a long time, and uh, you know as on offense with Coach Napier, I mean those guys are are, are great football coaches, uh, and along with you know we got a lot of guys on our staff that that. Uh, uh, really committed to our kids and our school, and uh, uh, they just love what they do. <clears throat> well, you mentioned that you mentioned that staff, Pete, and the, <clears throat> the fact that you guys <clears throat> you guys have been together now for uh, for a number of years, and mm -hmm. the, the the continuity. You know what? You almost uh, get inside each other's heads. You kind of know what each other's thinking, and that that's a big bonus. You know, early in early in Callaway's career, we had a lot of changes, a lot of turnover, never were able to develop any continuity, any mm -hmm. any 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 uh, any semblance of continuity, and now you can see the results of that. And, uh, you know, you mentioned that it, it, it translates from the practice field to the uh, to the uh, to the game field. And talk a little bit about your special teams, Pete. Well, Coach Sumlin's our, our special teams coordinator, does a wonderful job with those kids. Uh, Chase Freeman's our kicker and our punter. Uh, Josh Williams, our our, our long snapper. Um, on on uh, one of our most important, we feel like obviously is our punt team and our kickoff team, but. Uh, uh, our kickoff team, Cortez Leonard and uh, Keyshawn Freeman, are our two leaders on on that. And we try to, you know, in film every Sunday, or, or whenever we're watching film, uh, we we try to point out, hey, look at look at Cortez Leonard, look at Keyshawn Freeman running down. Let's get eleven guys running down to the ball just like these two guys do. And and you know we've gotten better each week at it, but being able to ki uh, kick the ball, uh, cover it. It is is a is a big part of the game, and if you can you can make people drive the ball 80 yards. I mean, it, it, it's a it, and it's a big challenge. It's a and um, 
um, you know, we're not doing that every time, but uh, we are ki covering the ball pretty good and um, <coughs> covering the kickoff pretty good and, and uh, doing, a, doing a lot of good stuff on, on special teams. And kick it to a spot. We noticed last night several times you were able to kick <coughs> the ball and, and have Tattle start somewhere between the 25 and the 30, mm -hmm. uh, kicking the ball high, kicking it to, the, to one side of the field, the other uh, sort of helps your coverage team, gives you less field to cover. And uh, uh, had a lot of fair catches by their kickoff team. Right? And of course, after uh, by their receiving team, of course, after the, uh, uh, the 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 lick on the sideline over there for on one of those coverage by uh, Terry Godwin, um, those hands went up quick last night on the kickoffs. But uh, uh, again, Peter, all phases of the game were clicking last night, as as evidenced by the score, 49 to seven. And um, you know, again, a big win. And uh, we're going to take another break here. And when we come back, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about next week's game, next round opponent. Uh, uh, some things that happened in the bracket last night. Hopefully uh, uh, we can figure out who won, maybe uh, see what, uh, who our opponent will be next week. So, uh, again, you're listening to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show here on Eagle Sports. The Kia of LaGrange right now for Turkey with a Test Drive, now featuring the stylish 2013 Kia Sportage, a solid built but unbelievably bargain priced SUV starting only $18.99. The Sportage stands out in the crowd with its lower starting price, and better highway MPGs than the Honda CRV, Ford Escape, and Toyota RAV4. Plus, the Sportage has almost twice the warranty of those brands, carrying Kia's 10 year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. KiaBlaGrange.com helps support your local economy. Turkeys while supplies last. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics well trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit us on the web at www.southernorthopedics.com. That's southernorthopedics.com. Attention all Corley Drug customers. Since Corley Drugs has closed, Perry Prather of Holmes Pharmacy has a special message for you. If you find yourself without a place to fill your prescription, I would like to invite you to let us here at Holmes Pharmacy take care of your family. During this transition of Corley Drugs closing, come see us. We can provide the same level of comfort and care that you have always received and expected from Corley Drugs. To find out more, come see us at Holmes Pharmacy, 136 Commerce Avenue, LaGrange. Rob and Joel Upchurch is your REMAX result agent. No matter if you're selling or buying, the first phone call you should make is to Joel or Rob Upchurch. Call 706-845-7000. This week's feature listing is a secluded two-acre lot on Deer Point Road in LaGrange. Well-maintained home adjoining core property and a wired workshop for only $89,900. If you want to know more about this house or get your home listed with Rob or Joel Upchurch, call 706-845-7000 or just search Rob or Joel Upchurch and check them out on the web. I'm in a state of caffeination, got all my fingers shaking, must have been my large Americano, mochaccino, macchiato. Now the family's gone to bed and that's my favorite time to get some tips on better rates. Cause my state farm guy answers late And even when it's not my agent Someone's standing by so patient Getting coverage questions answered Helps me to relax Get to a better state, State Farm Call State Farm agent Matt Orr On the square in downtown LaGrange We're going to hand the ball to Lindsey Lindsey is, is hit and he spins He gets across the 20, down the 5 Turns on the afterburners at the 5 Goes into the end zone, touchdown Cavaliers Wow, what a run by Wilson Lindsey Boy, he... Play was play was stopped for about a six yard gain, and he uh, uh, he met the uh, the would be tacklers and spun off and went down the right side for about a 33 yard touchdown to put the Cavaliers up by a score of 19 to nothing with 7:54 left in the first quarter. Another touchdown for the Cavaliers last night. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, uh, the Saturday morning quarterback show, Callaway edition here from uh, the showroom at uh, Kia Motors, and uh, uh, you listened to Wilson Lindsay's touchdown run last night and. Uh, for those of you that uh, weren't, weren't able to come out last night and uh, didn't hear us on the radio, the Cavaliers won by a score of 49-7. to seven. Uh, Callaway had uh, probably five or six different players score touchdowns last night. And uh, Pete, before the break, we talked a little bit about the uh, defense, but uh, we talked about the offensive line. Let's talk a little bit more about some of your offensive stars last night. Well, <clears throat> you know, I was talking about the special teams and defense uh, earlier, I was, uh, switching gears back to offense. Uh, uh, Coach Napier, Coach Matt Napier, Coach Kurt Napier, coaches are running back, uh, Coach Donay. Uh, 
Which one uh-huh. of the Napiers is? Which one of them is the re- the real intelligent one there, William? <laughs> uh, it, who, got, who got all the brains? And you know, uh, that's, it's, that's, it's, it's it's debatable from what I understand out there. Uh, well, that, that that's funny. But both of them are, <laughs> both of them are, are, are good guys, and uh, uh, I worked for their daddy for a long time, and uh, I, I probably I, I learned a lot of ball from Coach Bill Napier. Got uh, so much respect for him, and a uh, great man. But uh, um, Anyway, uh, Coach Coach Napier does a, a a great job on our offense, and uh, you know we th- this this whole year we've been able to put up points and uh, and and had a lot of people uh, uh, score touchdowns this year, and uh, uh, the, the whole season our philosophy's kind of been what we're going to run <coughs> run the ball, throw it when we have to, um, and uh, you know we're not doing a whole lot different from what we were doing early in the year. You know we're just uh, a little better at it each week and. Uh, um, uh, Eddie Culpepper, uh, Cortez Leonard, uh, Boom Lindsey, uh, Devon Rosser, uh, you know, those, those guys are running hard. And, um, uh, Tez Parks, obviously at quarterback, uh, I feel like he gets better each week, uh, uh, running, running our offense, reading the veer and, um, uh, our offensive line. I went through those names earlier, but, uh, they just get a little more, bit more comfortable each week in, in what we do. And, uh, you know, those kids are physical up front. And uh, I mentioned earlier they're, they're really not that big in the big scheme of offensive linemen. Right. I mean, a lot of folks got, you know, 280, 300-pound kids across the front line. We, di- we just don't have that. But what we got is we got guys that, that can run and uh, that, that play hard and they're physical. And I'll, I'll take that every day. And, uh, um, you know, the good kids and Coach Wall, uh, I, me- I mentioned uh, Coach Napiers uh, and Coach Donay. Uh, Coach Wall um, coaches our offensive line and uh, does a great job with those guys. And uh, uh, you know he pushes them hard, and uh, uh, it, and it shows. You know, I mean they they go out and they, they play physical, and you watch you watch film, and uh, you see the defense's head popping back uh, on the line of scrimmage, and uh, it it doesn't just happen. It's it's you know it's rep after rep in practice and. Uh, the old weight room uh, comes into play, and and uh, again, those offensive guys, uh, just like uh, you know, Coach Hubbard and his defensive uh, staff, and 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 our special teams, you know, they all they all do a great job. And um, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm I'm the lucky one, you know. I'm I got I'm real fortunate to have to to be surrounded by uh, <coughs> excuse me, and guys like this, you know, they all extremely committed and and. Yeah, uh, they love what they do, and it, and, it, and it means a lot to our program. And, uh, you know, one guy I hadn't mentioned is a, a, a Coach Tucker. You know, he's not out there coaching the position, but I tell you what, he's taking care of our kids, and and uh, um, he, he's getting everything lined up, getting us where we're supposed to be, and, uh, you know, it, it, it means a lot. And it's just another little piece of the puzzle uh, that, that makes us better. And, uh, you know, Mr. Snyder, and you were mentioning earlier uh, maybe where we were, where we uh, – where we're at now, uh, well, there's a, there's a lot of factors in that. You know, there's a lot of people, uh, great people that that's that's involved uh, with with making our school better. A lot of great kids, and um, you know, uh, I, I, I have to mention Dr. Greer too. She's doing an uh, unbelievable job. Our administration. Right. Uh, uh, so uh, just a lot of great things at Callaway High School. And one of those groups was in charge of the pregame meal last night. That's right. right. Our booster club uh, provided our pregame meal last night. Uh, Mr. and Miss Freeman, uh, I can't say enough about them. Uh, 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 you know, and uh, we, we were talking about earlier our fans and seeing a lot of old Cavaliers last uh, there last night. It, it, it means a lot to see uh, 10 or 12 guys that played for us uh, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, you know, because those, those guys helped build a foundation back when they I don't think they realized what they were doing but uh, uh, it, it, it built a foundation for Callaway football and uh, uh, you know it's another 10 win season here we are you know we we um, a- after we got uh, you know we had to get we spun our wheels uh, that first year but uh, since that time you know we've wheeled off a uh, eight and four a uh, ten and two a uh, ten and three uh, eight and four uh, uh, and here we are, uh, uh, ten and one again. So you know, it, there's a lot of good football. We played, had the opportunity to play a lot of good football teams uh, uh, over the course of that time. And you know, uh, coming in uh, this week will be uh, Washington County, who's as well known as anybody in the state of Georgia. And it's just a big opportunity for us. And I mean, they got a great football team. They're one of the most recognized teams in in Georgia. And, and uh, you know, all we're asking for is an opportunity, and and we're looking forward to it. I know you're excited about it, Pete. Uh, last night, is, uh, just a little quickly on the in- injury-wise, 
Uh, how did we come out of the game last night? We're, we're doing. Uh, we're in pretty good shape. LeBron's. Uh, uh, LeBron's had a growing injury last night, and I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the significance of it right now, but uh, maybe maybe he'll he'll uh, be good to go uh, really soon. We need him back. He's he's kind of like a quarterback on defense, and uh, you know he's had a he's had a tough uh, couple of weeks, and uh, he's always in our thoughts. And, Amazing, uh, he, he was even on the field last uh, night after uh, his surgery last couple uh, of weeks. So that's right. Congratulations to him to even get back out there. We hope he'll heal up and. Uh, uh, be back this week. But, uh, Pete, you mentioned Washington County coming in next week. Uh, we got uh, one more break here. When we come back, we'll we'll talk a little bit about them, and uh, we'll talk about uh, how important it is next week to get those Cavalier fans out there and fill up those stands. Uh, Washington County will bring a huge crowd. Uh, they always do. They travel well. So it's going to be important for us to match that intensity in the stands. Uh, I know it's Thanksgiving weekend. Everybody, hopefully everybody will be home. Uh, maybe some other Callaway Cavalier, former Cavaliers will be around. But uh, we need to get out there next Friday night and support those Cavaliers against Washington County. So when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, you're listening to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition, on Eagle Sports. Hurry into Kia LaGrange right now for Turkey with a Test Drive. Now featuring the stylish 2013 Kia Sportage. A solid built but unbelievably bargain priced SUV starting only $18.9. The Sportage stands out in the crowd with its lower starting price and better highway MPGs than what? the Honda CRV, Ford Escape, okay. and Toyota RAV4. Oh, Plus, the Sportage has almost minutes. twice the warranty of those brands, carrying Kia's 10 year, 100,000 mile limited power train warranty. Feet, okay. Kia with Grange.com helps support uh, your local economy. Turkey while yeah. supplies last. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit us on the web at www.southernorthopedics.com. That's southernorthopedics.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition from the uh, – uh, showroom here at Kia Motors, and uh, uh, Pete, we've got a couple of minutes left, and uh, we mentioned before the break how important it was uh, uh, to get fans in the stands next week, uh, a big weekend as the Cavaliers play Washington County, and uh, one fan we don't have to worry about being there is uh, is probably your number one fan, Mike Wiggins, and I know Mike's <coughs> listening to us this morning. You want to say hello to him? Well, I know that he's uh, he's listening to us over in Ramburn, Alabama, and uh, uh, anyway, he's always at the game, uh, biggest fan we got. Uh, hope uh, hope Rick's listening. Hope he's feeling a little better. He's been under the weather this week. But uh, anyway. That uh, breakfast uh, might make you feel better, you think, I, I'm sure it will. <laughs> but, uh, you know, big week for us this week. Uh, Washington County coming in. We need, we need all of our uh, fans to be there. We need uh, – a uh, big crowd. I know they're going to bring a crowd, a lot of tradition. And, you know, I mentioned before the break, uh, uh, you know, we're just looking forward to the opportunity. Great football team uh, uh, in Washington County. Uh, and, and, and I'm excited. I'm excited for our kids. It'll be a great challenge. And, and, and they're, they're excited. On the bus ride home last night, I had a good time. And uh, they know the importance and the significance of, of, of this week's practice and preparing for you know, a team like Washington County, and uh, we, we just got to get ready and we got to be focused and, and going into the game and uh, and play our game. You know, we're not going to do a lot different. We're going we're gonna to play Callaway football and, uh, and, and, and go at it. <laughs> well, you mentioned Washington County. They come into the game 10-1 uh, as the Cavaliers are. And, by the way, congratulations on your, I think that's three 10-win seasons in the last five. So, uh, But Washington County comes in 10-1, uh, a, a two-seed, I believe, out of Region 2. Uh, their only loss was to uh, – Thompson, Thompson, I believe. Uh, Thompson is uh, rated as number one team or number one or two team in the state. Uh, so they were in the same region. I think that score was like 28 to 14. And you mentioned the tradition at Waco, the House of Pain. Uh, but they won't be in the House of Pain next week unless unless we could turn ours into a House of Pain for them. <laughs> so uh, we're looking forward to that challenge, Pete. I know your kids are excited. I know the coaches are excited. And, uh, again, we want to mention one more time, we need to fill up those stands next week. We, uh, uh, we, we, need, to, we need to match that intensity because uh, Washington County will bring a big crowd, and uh, we need to show them some of that uh, Cavalier spirit when they get here. Long ride, three hours. We hope their legs are stiff. <laughs> and so we'll we, we'll uh, we'll uh, be out. Kickoff is at 7.30. 7.30, next, Callaway next, Stadium. Next Friday night and uh, Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, uh, I'll echo Kurt's sentiments. I'm uh, thankful for all the blessings that we have at Callaway. And uh, it's an opportunity for us to show our support and uh, – and, and help these kids uh, uh, to get a big win. And, Pete, we want to thank you for joining us again this, this morning. We always look forward to it. Coleman sent you and I for the biscuits this morning. 
And I don't know what happened to that first plate. Coleman usually gets two, but with, <laughs> with the, the the second one didn't make it. Coleman so. was pretty brave this morning. He was, he was, but he trusts me in you for some reason. I don't know why. So, But anyway, we thank Coleman for what he does, and we want to thank all you guys for watching this and listening in this morning on the Saturday Morning Quarterback mm -hmm. Show. So come on back and join us next week with what we hope will be another winning Saturday, 8.30 next Saturday morning. And uh, remember, get out Friday night, support the Cavaliers, 7.30 kickoff at Callaway Stadium against Washington County, second round of the playoffs. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to the Callaway Cavaliers Kiev LaGrange Saturday Morning Quarterback Show on Eagle 1023 WLAG 1240 AM 96.9 FM and online at Eagle 1023